So the first title fight of the night was for the bank vacant bantamweight title ever since. You say vacant? C yeah, I did say bacon. <laughs> you're getting me hungry again, bro. Uh, you're fat. Um, but ever since the King of Grid, Triple C, bend the knee, Henry Suhudo relinquished his title at UFC 249. Uh, this has been vacant, and this was a fight that a lot of people they were it was a little controversial because people didn't like Jose being in the title picture um, this soon. But I made the defense, and you also kind of agree with me that you put a legend in this fight. It's not a bad matchup, and it it's going to be a good fight as well. And it was too bad for Jose because he did not look the best in this. He landed like or at least up into the fifth he looked bad but the first three rounds he actually looked really good he landed almost i think he landed a career record of shots in this fight which is phenomenal when he's this late in his career but Piotr Jan, man he's just cemented himself as the baddest bantamweight in the world with his beat down in the fifth round painting with jose aldo painting the canvas with his blood jeez that was a little vicious man it was dude it was a bad look. He, there was a lot of blood on the canvas, if you didn't notice. <laughs> I, uh, it was pulling up. <laughs> yeah, right. I, I I was pretty displeased, to say the least, with the referee's inability to yeah. stop the okay, fight let, when it should have been about stopped. That real quick. Let's talk about that real quick before we get your full take. Um, was it a late stoppage? Absolutely. Okay. I think it was a late stoppage. I think it could have been stopped 30 seconds, if more than that, like maybe a minute before. Okay. I right. think right when right when that leg kick hit him mm -hmm. and he just like slammed it like was just slamming him on the ground and he was turtled up like dude why are you letting him take I mean I get he's a champion and he wants to go out on his shield but when the guy is just sitting there turtled up like that like not even moving like in Dom's defense like let's mm -hmm. compare it to Dom and Henry oh, Dom yeah. was getting up he yeah. was getting up he was still getting his ass beat mm -hmm. but he was at least trying to get up exactly whereas Aldo he was literally turtled up mm -hmm. I mean. He Arms was were on his head. He was head was buried himself, into his chest. But he was intelligently defending himself. There is a difference between those two things. Yeah, I mean, he was he, he was covering up is all he was doing. Yeah. He wasn't trying to actively get get himself out of that he, situation. No, he was he, trapped. He, and he wasn't going to win that fight. It was obvious. No, but let me give my two cents in this real quick. It 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 was a late stoppage. I'll preface it with that. It was a late stoppage, but. It's hard. That was a hard position for the ref to be in. I could empathize uh, with him real quick because you said, "Yeah, he's a former champion, legend, and you want to give him all the all the opportunities in the world to be able to come back somehow." And he was. It was hard because he take a barrage, then he move, roll into uh, like pass guard or something like that. Take a barrage, move. So although it was a late stoppage and it could have been sub sooner, if he did stop it sooner, there still would have been a decent amount of people calling it early stoppage. I believe. And it's just, that's why I just want to say that being the ref is one of the hardest things to do in the sport because no matter what, it's like a lose-lose situation in stuff like this. Yeah, it's definitely, a, I would not want, I do not envy his position in no, that sense. Not at all. And, I, and I'm not saying like I was Ariel Helwani mode, like up in arms, but no, it I, did make, it did make, like this was the first one. Mm -hmm compared to all the other like late stoppages and stuff like that. Like I like Jose Aldo, bro. This was the first one that really made me get up and I actually yelled at my TV. I was like, dude, <laughs> stop the, f I literally dude. screamed. I said, stop the f***ing fight. Thanks for the sense. I was, I was cringing uh, the, over the last couple of projects. I was cringing. Um, but the fight as a whole, what do you think about it? It was a sick fight. Round one, Jan comes out. He's blazing. Mm -hmm. Round two, the leg kicks start becoming a factor with Aldo. Round three, they're really going back and forth, but Jan's starting to pull away again. Round four, you can really start to see uh, maybe the cardio of Aldo at, at bantamweight just drops a little bit faster than what he's used to, you know? Mm -hmm. Maybe it depletes a little bit more. And then round five, Jan just put it on him and just finished him. So it was a really entertaining fight. I mean, it was back and forth for the first three rounds, and then Jan just kind of took it over. But Aldo still looks good, man. He can still fight. I don't know if he retires yet. I think he still has a couple of fights left in him. Just depends what he wants, really. Yeah, it's like does he like, does he want to be a journeyman? Does he want to like still go in there and potentially like, lose here and there and get finished like mm -hmm. that? Yeah, good point. It's hard because he can still go, and so like if he doesn't retire now and still fights, I could see him doing that. But then also if he retires now and just calls it a career, 
Um, no one's going to argue that. No one's going to disagree with him. He's a future Hall of Famer, and oh, yeah. he, he deserves a phenomenal retirement. Yeah, he did. He's no doubt about it in the Hall if of this Fame. This doesn't I mean, hurt. Probably one of the most important, like, sorry, like yeah. I'm not trying to be a douche, but like little guy. You yeah. know, he for the for the guys that are in the smaller weight classes, mm-hmm. him, Uriah Faber, Dom Cruz, like those are the pioneers, really. Like, uh, who else? Um, man, I can't remember the other guy's name. Uh, I want to say it was Miller or something like that, but like mm-hmm. um, there's just a few of those guys that have just been around forever, and all those still only 33. Right, that's he, the craziest thing to me. He's been around the game so long; it just feels like he's like in his 40s by now. I, he can still go, but also, man, legend beast of sport. But Piotrion is for real. What is was kind of almost disheartening though is after in the, their post card press conference. So a reporter asked Dana White if Aljo is going to be the guy that takes on Piotr Jan now. And Dana White was a little hesitant to, to, to say yes. He didn't say yes. He was just like, I don't know. He said, I don't know. So that worries me a little bit. The fight to make is Aljo and Jan. But with Dana being a little hesitant like that, who knows? Yeah, you know Dana. He he's always he always likes to beat around the bush. Right. But if people bitch about it enough, <laughs> you know he always makes it happen. So it's really just up to the people to just bitch about it enough. So if, you're if saying, everyone really wants it to happen, just bitch. Just bitch. So um, you heard it here, everyone. Go to UFC's um Twitter. Go to the replies and just start bitching.